And where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself to be a president of this country. <laughs> Would you call the cops? <laughs> Welcome guys to another episode of Pulse TV Vox Pop. I'm Dark Chalk and today we have Christian Dorer all the way from Switzerland. Christian is a journalist. He's the editor-in-chief at Blick.ch. So go check them out right now. Welcome, Christian. Thank you, and hi, guys. Looking forward to do this Vox Pop for you now. Yes. So what do we, what are we talking about today? We are talking about jobs, what job people do, and if it's their passion or if they rather would like to do anything else. Yes. So do you enjoy your current job? Is this something that you don't want to do? Would you like to do something else? What's your passion? Are you living your dream? Yes, we're at Lekki and we'll be talking to a lot of people today, right? Yes, absolutely. I like my job and now it's my dream to do this Vox Pop. I like my job too. All right, guys, let's begin. So what's your occupation? Um, I'm a mechanic and a driver. I'm a sales executive at Gagolis Water. I am a digital consultant and a designer. Okay, I'm an auditor. A banker. I'm an engineer by profession. I'm an educator, I'm a teacher. You're a teacher and you? A teacher as well. Okay, I'm a fitness trainer, certified functional fitness and kettlebell trainer. I'm an IT tech freelancer. Event planner, what kind of events do you do? Um, I do kiddies, um, hard odds, wedding planning, so that's what I do. I do some little things here and there to try to survive. Sometimes I do a bit of teaching, uh, I teach a bit of mathematics, physics, do some other little, little things here and there. Yeah. But all in all, I don't really count it as much really. But one way or other, I just end up surviving. But are you happy with your life? Well, I would say I'm happy with my life, but I don't think that this was the trajectory I ever planned for my life. I don't think growing up, I planned this kind of trajectory for my life. But one way or other, it happens. Someone says shit happens. So when shit happens, you just roll with the punches. And do you like your job? Mm, yes, I do. I do. I love my job. And as a businessman, I wouldn't want to stay with my job. I would also like to welcome other businesses. If I don't, if I, if I don't like my job, I won't, give, I won't give the best to it. So definitely I have to say I love my job. We like our job though. Even aside from what I'm doing, I also have a, a dream. I have a goal of where I'm going to. I actually want to end up in the innovation industry. I've always wanted to be a pilot. So. I'm doing all this to gather up to get in school and get up to my dream. Yeah, no, I love my job. Um, I'm starting this. I started this consultancy with three other colleagues of mine, so it's it's fantastic. So you're, you are your own boss. Yes, we are our own bosses. Yeah, we just worked there, two developers and myself, and then we're getting a project manager. So we're just trying to get that up and running and make it so that Nigeria has cheaper ways of using technology to solve their problems. Would you rather like to do something else? I love my job. I find joy doing them because they are putting food on my table. Uh, is there anything else? What's your dream? Oh, my dream is to be a basketballer. Oh, my own dream? Are you asking me what I yes. wanted to do? Uh, apparently, I'm supposed to be... Uh, I have worked in an oil industry before. That is an oil services company like two. But due to the fact that the economy melted down, then they closed down, you know? So that is what gives me an insight and I see a lot of people suffering around. It gives me a breaking heart when I see people suffering. That's the truth. My dream job, I'm a computer scientist as in my course of study in school. I'm a computer scientist. I would like to be a programmer in the future. Okay, I want to work in Nigerian Foreign Affairs. That's my dream job. Work at the um, Nigerian, maybe an embassy or something. Um, um, fitness training for me is going to be part of my life for the rest of my life, yes. My dreams are mystical in nature. <laughs> what does it mean exactly? Uh, really that I tend to be esoteric, spiritual, mystical, so how will I put it? I don't generally, I don't really say that I have natural dreams per se. Maybe, the natural, maybe I generally have the natural dreams of everybody anyway. Maybe I generally want to be rich, want to be successful, you want to be powerful, you, you, want, you want to die and make it to the afterlife or the heavens like everybody else. But I tend to have a mystical side. So if there's something I should be doing on my own, I should have so many equipment, be leasing it out and at the same time be practicing it. So that is my dream job. And what's your dream in 10 years? What will you be doing? In 10 years I'm seeing myself 
as a business owner and a well-known commander. I see myself to be a president of this country. Would it be the president of this country? Yeah. Wow, are you already into politics at the moment? Yeah, uh, no, apparently when I was in the university, I was the welfare director. I play politics in the university. But after my graduation, but in this our contest in Africa, we believe the power of monetary. That's where we have a misunderstanding. But this current administration, Buhari regime, is trying to let us to know that you don't need to have money before you become a president or become, become a senator. But I hope the people around me can encourage him to do that. That's one thing. But people around him, they are not encouraging them. That means you can't do nothing. What's the most important thing you would change if you were president? The most of thing that I'll change, importantly, is because seeing people suffering is like, uh, is giving me a kind of a nightmare. You know, the first thing first is to work on electricity. In 10 years, I should be relaxed. So a lot of workers own my own companies, drive my cars, my dream cars, make money. So make money and earn a lot of money to have a good life. Yes, sir. You? Yeah, me in 10 years, I see myself flying. 1787 plane, being a pilot, being a chief pilot. Ah, chief pilot? Yeah. yeah, so I have always want to work with these British Airways. Okay, well, British Airways fly around the world. Yeah. <laughs> How, I see myself as a school owner, teaching um, children from one year, years, year old to eight years old. I don't know. I, I hope somewhere good, but I really do. Do you care about it or you say yourself, I take every day as it comes? I take every day as it comes. I, I wish I could have a structured plan, but there ain't no there is no structured plan anywhere. So you just you just take it one day at a time. Live it one day at a time. Maybe one way or the like one way or the other. I don't know. People say things don't really get better with as you move along. I don't know. But you just hope. We will see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that was the Vox Pop. I was very impressed about the variety of jobs people are doing. We had bankers, educators, artists, bodybuilders. Really amazing. And I was really surprised how openly people talk about their jobs. In Switzerland, it would have been much more difficult to do this Vox Pop. My name is Christian Dorer, editor-in-chief of Blick.ch. I'm right here for Vox Pop on Pulse TV. Did you call the cops? Yeah, yeah.